this here is my 4S battery pack module for my hybrid tube amplifier. So it consists of three separate components. First you have the um, the battery holders here which is part of the main PCB which does um, uh, the control of the battery connectivity to either the charging state or discharging state. The first two relays control the positive connection of the batteries to either discharge or to charge them and this one here switches between battery output uh, or mains output um, that goes into the amplifier. This switch here controls the connectivity of the ne negative battery terminals to put it in a charging state or discharge, discharge state. So the battery holders are SMD, take 18650s. You then have on the front here a quad TP4056X charging module. You then have the Ablic uh, S8254A battery protection module and then at the back of the board um, on the left you have a uh, buck converter that converts 12 volts DC mains uh, into 4.6 volts which drives the charging module um, it can supply up to 3 amps and this module needs 2.4 amps so that's the reason why there's a heat sink here to dissipate the heat. This one here on the right converts the um, output from the battery protection circuit, which can be up to 16.8 volts from the 4S pack, uh, converts it to 12 volts for the amplifier. It's a linear regulator, so it can generate quite a bit of heat. Um, so this is the uh, input. Um, need about 3.5 amps. Um, there's an option here to control the uh, the charge, turn the charger on or off, and there's a little connector here to output, turn the output power to the amplifier uh, on or off. Rear of the PC, only two components, which is the voltage divider for the um, adjustable voltage regulator. Heat sink has been mounted using screws. So size wise it is hundred five mil wide lengthwise um, I think it is Let's see. It's about 145 to the back of the heat sink, so it sticks out a little bit. So the rear control panel um, looks like this. So you've got the power input there, and this section here is for the uh, amplifier. And this is the PCB, the rear of the PCB. Ground ground traces on both sides with thick traces for all the other connections. And the top side of the PCB. So I'm just gonna pop some batteries in. These batteries um, were salvaged from a laptop. I've been testing this board for a while. It works really well. So the batteries are in. It's doing nothing at the moment. So if I put it in the down state. It's now supplying power output. Turn it off again. Turn it on. 
relay turns on and then the outputs a steady 12 volts for the amplifier the amplifier is now fully assembled so here we have the top side the battery level indicator on the right here the cables for that has been thread through from underneath. Then you have the main amplifier board mounted using screws and support screws so it doesn't flex when you're pushing in the valves. Um, kept cables as short as possible so this is the headphone out. A couple of switches and indicators, line out, Bluetooth in, line in. Uh, this is the Bluetooth module. And the rear got the battery module, battery protection circuit, charging module, and there's some switches here. So this one here um, allows the amplifier to run on DC current. Uh, the middle one is not used. Um, it's used to reset the battery protection, but I have an automatic. And this one here is to uh, turn battery charging on or off. And this here controls the LED LEDs for the um, valves. Got the um, top. And then bottom piece with just mounting holes and that's it. Now the amplifier is all assembled, let's give it a quick demo. So I'm going to turn it on, flick it up. It's now running on battery. You can see the tubes are glowing. There's the battery protection module. And that light there is to indicate the uh, relays on. You can turn that off. And that's the power indicator light. So I'm just going to grab some headphones. So I've got some headphones here. That goes in here. I'm going to use Bluetooth for this demo, so I'm going to turn the Bluetooth on. Okay, it's now paired, so... That's now playing over Bluetooth. And I'm just going to put my headphones on. It sounds great. Um, it sounds a lot more cl cleaner when using the line in, um, which it would do because the Bluetooth module is cheap, but overall um, it sounds absolutely amazing. You can change the valves, um, you can change the op amp, and the best thing about this is it's battery operated. You get about 8 hours run time um, out of just standard lithium batteries that I've salvaged. So just to keep an eye on the batteries, um, you can check them. It's been calibrated to show 4.2 volts maximum and uh, 3 volts. So at the moment um, it looks like the batteries are about 3.7, so the nom nominal vol voltage.